Hello and welcome to Imago. Today I'm going to share with you a basic tutorial about the AIOS, the all-in-one system from Imago. This is the AIOS and we have three different sizes. We have 65, 75 and 86 inches. This one is a 65 inches and to turn it on, you just have to press this button here and we have the home screen. In this home screen, we have the time, the date, the weather condition, the internet connection, the hotspot and also five icons which are locked in our home screen. This tutorial is gonna be divided in three sections. These three sections are these three, one, two, three. And if you want to see something in specific, you can skip in the video. I'm gonna go this way during this video. Um, also, one thing that I want to mention is that this device can do the screen recording. And I will take advantage of this function because I want to show you everything that I'm doing in this screen during this tutorial. So I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, now we will start with the first section, this one. So we have these three icons, which are very familiar for the people who use Android devices. We have the back, home, and multitask option. So for example, if I open a folder, and uh, let's go to download. So here, if I press the back, I go back to the main folder. Home, I go back to the home screen. And multitask, I can see the folders or the apps that I have open, and I can close it or I can open any of them if I want. This section, I just finished it, is very basic. First, I'm gonna go with this app, which is the whiteboard. This is one of the more complete apps that we have in this device, and I will explain to you little by little how to use it. First, uh, we have here select. If you have any object, you can select it and move it. You will see later. We have the pen. With the pen, we can write, for example, Hello. As you can see, it's very smooth. Um, I don't have any problems. If I click here in the pen, we have these options. You can have different styles of writing. We have different thickness of the line we, we use and different colors. But not only that, with this pen, you have both tips useful for this app. You can, for example, choose this one. This one is the top one. So you can choose another style, another thickness, and another color if you prefer. For example, the, the main one is the one that I wrote this, and the top one, you can have this writing. Next is a eraser. We can erase one stuff, or if we want to erase everything, we'll go to the next one, which is clean all. Now, this one, ruler. Ruler is also very useful. We can make, for example, straight lines, and this is 15.96 centimeters. I can make different lines, and after that, I go to select, click on it and I will change color. I can clone it, move it, and you can do whatever you want with these lines. You have also different kinds of rulers. This one, for example, is also very useful. We can make a 90 degrees, 60 and 30. And it's, let's go back to the pen. I will do this line. I will change the thickness so I can write numbers here, 30 and 30 and let's say that for the students to say how much is this and here is a 90 degree this is a, just an example of how you can use it also you can use shapes with shapes you have the options to use 2d shapes let's try it here 2d or we also have the 3d option also we can change, in terms of 3D, we can change the color of the line and clone it. And for the 2D, we can change the filling color, red or yellow if you want, and clone it. Also, we have tables. You can choose two by two, three by three. I'm gonna choose three by three. And let's say that taxi and plus, and let's put here money and time. And then we can say taxi is expensive, the bus is cheap, uh, taxi is fast, the bus is slow. We have mind map too. Here I'm gonna write uh, universe, choose this one. And then here is a galaxy. Then we have a solar system. Then we have sun. We have planets, we 
and planets can have moon. You can hide everything, start from here. And you can explain like the universe has galaxies, the galaxies has solar system, the solar system may have sun and planets, and the planets have moons. So you can show up like this, and whatever you don't want, you can delete it, so it can be more understandable. After this, we also have sticky notes. I will use my fingers to write. Um, let's say that we have a meeting, meeting at 12, and it's going to be on the right, our sticker. And let's say that uh, we have a dinner at 6. And we can change the size, change the color if you want. We have uh, the previews that help us to move the board so we can have a little more space. We have also grid. With the grid, we can write any test. I will make it smaller. And finally, we have the add. We can add other whiteboards inside the same file. So, oh, sorry. So we can write stuff here and add another one if we want. Now we have uh, three whiteboards inside this file. So now let's go to this side of the screen, which is the menu. We have new, open, save, import, export. You can export to images, PDF, and others. Cloud storage, them. You can send by email, and you have settings. In this setting, you have four options. For the first one is the eraser. If we write something, we can use the eraser and delete. If I write again, and I choose the other setting for the eraser, I can delete by area. Now we go back to settings and here the second option is multi-finger writing. Now it's off, which means that with my two fingers, I can do the preview option without clicking preview. So I have my two fingers and I can move the board and I can also zoom in and zoom out. If I click this on, this means that many persons can write at the same time. One person here and the other here or can be four or six, or I can use my 10 fingers for 10 persons writing at the same time. Finally, we have the automatic brightness and the custom toolbars, which is this. You can decide which one you want here or which one you don't want it. You can share it with a QR code. Here we will have a QR code, here it is. We finish with this whiteboard app. This one is the one that we just opened before. It's about the finder. That's how you can find all your files here in this device. And the next one is this. These are the pre-installed apps plus all the apps that you have already installed in this device. I'm not gonna go to all of them because it's gonna be a very long video and I don't want you to see some apps that you already know. But just specifically, you have a browser. You can have a Cloud Drive, Drive, Imago Flash and Smart Percent, I'm gonna explain later. You also have the WPS Office, YouTube. This screen has a good resolution. And then we also have all these apps like Zoom, Chrome, Adobe Acrobat, Meet, Classroom from Google and Teams. Everything that you can download from Play Store, you can play it here. So we finished the second section. We will start the last section. Here, this one, if you haven't opened any app, you can write here in the home screen. Now let's go to the next point, which is the quick settings. And here you can select among the devices which are connected to your AIOS. For example, HDMI, Type-C, VGA, cables. Also, you can control the volume, the brightness, and you can make the display cooler or warmer. Here, another important thing is that we have this Android system integrated in an AIOS, which is the standard version, but you can also upgrade to have the PC integrated, which has Windows 11. The advantage of this is that you can have more ports in your device, and also you have the Windows system benefit. Let's 
go to PC. There's no difference using a computer or a laptop with this device. It's very smooth because it has an SSD storage and also you can choose between Intel Core i5 or i7. Now to go back I just click in the home button and we're back into the Android version. We will go to the last stage of the third section, which is the tools that we have. For example, we have a timer, also stopwatch. We have a screen record, which I am using right now. We have the freeze. As you can see, the screen is gonna be frozen. We can zoom. We also have the crop. If you want to have a screenshot of any place of the screen, you can save it by clicking this. We also have the split screen. This option is very useful, many people like it. I'm gonna use, for example, the browser in my left and the whiteboard on my right. Many people like it because you can multitask. You can be reading the news or any report in the office, and at the same time, you can be making some notes. You also have the camera option, the poll kit. In the poll kit is an app that you can use to make polls, to make surveys within your community. For example, let's say I'm going to use this whiteboard. What to eat? Option one, two, and three. Pizza, uh, curry, or sushi. So uh, I, I have one through three options. So I set three options, anonymous, in the quick, you can create it right away. So here I have another phone. I scan it. I go to the website. And I have the three options. So I know that the third one is sushi and I want to eat sushi. Let's go and click this. Success. One people voted, one sushi. That's how you can see it. You can also see in histogram how many, the 100% of the people, one person, one sushi. Also, we have this tool to transfer files. We have also a calendar and we have screen lock. You can log your screen if you prefer. You just select the password. Okay. Different password I cannot access. Now for the end of this tutorial, I just want to focus on these five icons, which this one I already talked today about. So these two are the most essential that I want to talk to you right now, which is the Imago Flash and Smart Percent, which both are Imago apps. With the Imago Flash, we can do video conferences, just like Teams, Zoom, or other video conference apps. So I will do an example here. I will join. So this is an example of Imago Flash using the app in the AIOS and my laptop using the website flash.imago.us. After this, there is only one app left, which is Smart Percent. And with Smart Percent, you can use the function of mirroring. I will mirror my computer right now, and we will have the map that I have in my computer. Also, I can do the opposite. I can stop sharing my screen, and now I will mirror the screen from the AIOS. I can also even operate the AIOS with my computer. Oh, by the way, if you feel that your kids in their school are very interactive and they can throw stuff to your TV like this, or if you have people in the office or employees who get angry or stressed very easily and they want to kick stuff, don't worry with this. It has anti-break system and also anti-glare to care of your eyes. This was the AIOS basic tutorial. Thank you for watching.